It is the week the fight in Texas Aggies and fans have been waiting for. The COVID-19 pandemic forced the delay start, but this week, the SEC opens up conference games to be played this regular season. That means the Aggies will kick off their season this Saturday night at Kyle Field against Vanderbilt. But they will do it without one of their key defensive starters. That's because linebacker Anthony Hines has decided to opt out of this season. Hines making the announcement on Twitter telling us, quote, with everything taking place in the world right now, from the pandemic to blatant injustices being committed towards people of color, it's difficult to be 100% locked into the football. Hines now becomes the second starter to opt out in the last two weeks after leading wide receiver Jamon Osborn said he plans on preparing for the NFL draft. There's so many different things, the way they affect young men, the way they affect families. And we don't always know the family effects that they've had and what those families have dealt with, not just from each them, but, you know, aunts, uncles, grandmas, grandpas, moms, dads, brothers, sisters. That's all. Probably, there's a lot of things that happen. So we wish those guys nothing but the best. But, you know, we'd love to have them. But at the same time, we understand and respect everything they do because both guys are outstanding. Uh, since this is the first home game of the season for the Aggies, masks and social distancing will be strictly enforced at Kyle Field and roughly 25% capacity for the 630 kickoff. And hey, the Steel Knights will finally be able to kick off their 2020 season this Friday night when they host Life Christian Academy. How big is this one? That team is from Virginia. They are flying in from Chester, Virginia. For that reason alone, they are the big game in our big game coverage. But there are other reasons. It's the first game for 6A and 5A teams allowed by the UIL. And because of the COVID pandemic, in order to get non-district opponent to open up the season, the Knights have to reach out to Virginia. And get this, the Eagles are ranked fifth in their state. Kickoff on Friday night at Lenoff Stadium, set for 7.30. K-Central Sports will be there. That's what you call a road trip for a high school team. Yeah. All the way from Virginia. You know who else is playing this week? Uh, Texas Tech in Texas. I know. <laughs> LSU is probably playing this week, aren't they? Who? It? Okay. Yeah, exactly. That's fine. LSU. <laughs> I just, Don't I, mess with Ursula and LSU, man. She's way over on that side of the studio <laughs> over there. I can still, I can reach you. Yeah, she can. Well, talking football. I mean, yeah, that, that's fall, that's right? It's fall. Yeah, exactly. Right. And we are celebrating everything fall on SA Live. And what feels more like fall than decorations, where you can go to create your own fall decorations. And we have a discount for our viewers as well. And Jen heads out to Yenski Orchards with her family. They pick out some beautiful pumpkins. Oh, look at those little ones out there. And they get lost in a maze. Plus, time to think about furry friends. Of course, continuing National Dog Week, and we share some fun gifts that they are going to love. Morgan's Wonderland turns 10 years old, and we give you all the details behind the big gala coming up this week. And sneak a few veggies into your diet from time to time. We share a delicious grilled veggie pesto pasta recipe. Okay, and here's the question. We were just talking about football, but what's your favorite thing about fall? Is it the colors? Is it the food? The football? The temperatures? Find out. SA Live continues in just a couple of minutes. Well, now let's look at the forecast. So we're at 76 right now, close to 80, maybe a little bit warmer today if we see some breaks in the cloud cover. Uh, look for more breaks tomorrow, 84, 87 Thursday, and 90s by the weekend. Guys. Thank you, Justin, and thank you for watching the news at noon with us. If you look at a forecast, one of your favorite things about fall is usually when it gets cooler, but I'm not sure about that. Mm, not this uh, weekend. 90s. So, so I guess we'll just have to go with football. My favorite thing is being in New England, Columbus Day weekend, and seeing those amazing colors in New England. But you're in South Texas right now. <laughs> yeah, but it's also not Columbus Day. <laughs> That's so true. I still have a couple of weeks to plan that. There you go. I'm just going back with football <laughs> and SA Live in the fall. It's a great show because it starts right now. But there's a lot more to it because today on SA Live, we head to Yinsky Orchards, a farm known for its delicious peaches. And you won't believe the fall family fun you can have there. Plus, the world's first fully inclusive, ultra accessible, nonprofit and beloved local theme park. Morgan's Wonderland may be closed right now, but that hasn't stopped it from hosting a fundraising gala. And we are celebrating our best friend for National Dog Week. We share several to show your pup that he or she is a lucky dog. It's all today on SA Live.
Celebrate San Antonio. Coming to you live from the KSAT 12 studios. This is SA Live. Ah, oh, yes, look at the colors out there. I don't know if that's around here though, for instance, but we've got, look at that, pumpkin spice latte, leaves on the ground, the campfire is going. Yes, fall is officially here. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Mike Osterhage. Today, and I am so excited for fall and a change of seasons, right? Yeah. Even though we're gonna get warmer, I'm still loving what we're, you know, feeling outside right now. It's awesome. So we want to know what is your favorite thing about the fall season, Mike? Well, I'm, first of all, I'm guessing you've got the fire going and you've got all the pumpkin spice latte going on all the uh, potpourri going on there. But I'm going to have to go with the temperatures because I love not having to wear shorts and flip flops all the time and T-shirts. Apologist. <laughs> Um, I would have to say that my favorite thing is getting to spend more time outside, especially with my dogs, and taking Sloan to a pumpkin patch. That's what I'm looking forward to. Yeah, because she's now at the age where she's going to be enjoying all that stuff, and you set her up for the perfect pictures and all that. So, yes, indeed. Well, so, of course, is, is it the cooler weather, the pumpkin spice, football, whatever? Let us know. That's our question today, what you like best about fall. Post it on Facebook and Twitter, and you may see your answer just a little bit later on in the show. Well, of course, one of the great ways to get in the spirit of the autumn season is put up decorations, right? That's right. And we, I know we've talked about this before, but I mean, put up those Thanksgiving and Christmas decorations and call it a year. And you can do that if you want to, if you head on over to Board and Brush in New Braunfels, because you won't be bored there, because they are going to help you create really one-of-a-kind decor for your home. Take a look. Well, if you want something unique for your home or maybe some decor that will pop or be a conversation piece, you can find that right here at Board & Brush. Because guess what? Not only will you find it, you're going to make it. And joining me right now is Chris Macklin, owner, and of course, our fabulous assistant, Kayla Wallace here, will also be helping out. All right, so they know what they're doing, and thank goodness, because I do not. Now, what are we gonna be making today? <laughs> so today, we're gonna make the Happy Fall Scarecrow. All right, how do we get started? So, <clears throat> the first step in the process is to distress our boards. And when we distress our boards, we're just trying to give them a little bit of character, take that newness off it, so, when you were distressed, you're gonna to have two tools. You have the hammer, okay. And you have the meat tenderizer. So it's not how much how much you hit the wood, it's how hard you hit the wood. Four, three, two, one, stop. Okay, here we go. And what we wanna do now is we want to sand it. Okay. Right? And so when we sand this, uh, we have sandpaper and we have this sanding block. And you wanna wrap the sandpaper around the sanding block. We're going to Sand our, um, our frame and also the flat surface of okay. the project. Man. It's a workout. All right. <laughs> oh my God. So okay. now we're going to do the staining, staining. portion, right? right? Okay. And Kayla here is going to demonstrate the correct way to do that. <laughs> that is correct. So get your cloth in a nice little small package and then dip it inside the, uh, dip it inside the stain and then just go some long, even strokes. Because if you try to stay in one concentrated area, then mm -hmm. you won't have, it won't, some sections may be darker than others, right? You can see where you, where you actually distress, right? right. The stain doesn't right. go down inside those indentations. So what you wanna do is you wanna take one of those yellow paint brushes okay. and then, so you dip it inside the paint, inside the cup, and you'll paint those little areas and then you'll wipe them with your cloth. Uh, okay, so the next step would be, we finished it, we got it stained, and now it's time for the stencil. And Kayla's gonna help me out with this one, right? Correct. You wanna talk us through it. Okay, so what we wanna do is we wanna turn the stencil face down and you are going to separate the white grid paper from the blue stencil. It is a two-person technique. It's a two-person technique. So one person is going to hold the stencil and one person is going to pull the white grid paper. All right, now that we've got the backing peeled off, now it's time to get it 
where it needs to be, right? Right. Okay. So again, this is going to be a two-person job because this, this stencil is so large. So grab the ends of it sure. and we flip it over mm -hmm. and we get it lined up. And again, in the studio, we can use that, that looks about right method or the T-line method. And so what you're trying to do right now is you're trying to get the stencil uh, to adhere to the, to the wood. Now, once we've done that, now it's time to remove the transfer tape and the technique for removing the transfer tape. And, and similar to the way we peel the, the, the grid paper off the, separated from the stencil, as we, we just want to drag it. And as we pull it, we just want to rub where that tape was so we can make sure the stencil doesn't get any air underneath it and cause any bubbles. What color do you want to start with first? I would say go with the blue and do the um, do, that. do okay. the coveralls okay. or the overalls, okay? And everywhere where you see brown, it's where you, you want to just want to put paint there. Every time you switch colors, you go to a new brush, brush. okay? Yes. All right, and so on and so forth with the painting. And this would be the finished product. And folks can take this home, right? That's correct. Okay. And so when folks come on out here, they can come here in person, at couples, families, you know, come on in and enjoy. What can they expect when they come in the door? So first they can expect to have a good time and make and know they're gonna walk, leave their studio with a product they're really gonna love. Where can folks find you? You can go to our website, www.boardandbrush.com forward slash New Braunfels. All right, and for more information, of course, on Board and Brush here in New Braunfels, just head to our website, salive.com, and click on the ad scene on SA Live tab. Okay, I love that scarecrow, Fiona. That's great. Right? Okay. And they, of course, as you heard, they can you can pick up kits there and go ahead and make your very unique piece of art there at home. And they provide everything in that kit. So you have some of that in front of you and they gave you a stencil and okay, you're you're, you're getting that on there? Right. I, oh, you I'm need to peeling off the backing oh. Oh. and the thing oh. you have to watch out for because this has the word love written in it and those little letters like to try and peel up. So yes, it was a very, very delicate job and yes. I'm gonna set that down on, whoops, let me go like this, uh, 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 just right uh, uh. on there like that. And Wait. I should have one of those little squeegees that you had to kind of get all the air bubbles out. But once that's down and then there's another layer on top of that that he was peeling off and said you got to rub it as you were peeling all of that off there. Hold it. Okay, and, and then the painting the technique, there's a all secret right. to that, and right? Once you pop that off, then there you go. Then you're just gonna kind of fill it in there with, with the paint. Okay. Okay. And you don't brush, you daub, right? Yes. Mm-hmm. Just want to keep doing that. There you go. Okay. That way it's nice and even. All and then right. once you get that all done and then you peel the stencil back off it, this finished product. Look at that. Yeah. Right? I, I love that. No pun intended since it says love on there. Fantastic. <laughs> and uh, SA Live viewers, you can use the uh, code word SA Live Fall, all one word, to take $20 off a project workshop class of your choice now through the month of October. And that's a great deal. And for more information on Board and Brush, New Braunfels, go to salive.com and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. All right, well, no one is enjoying the fall season more than our Jen Tobias Strusky because she went over to Fredericksburg to check out Yensky Orchards. They have some fun fall activities for the whole family, like pumpkin picking and, of course, a corn maze. If you're looking for a fall getaway, maybe a trip on a tank full, today we take you to the hill country for a fun little getaway in a huge Texas maze. And when I say Texas sized, I mean it. Take a look from above Yensky Orchards in Fredericksburg. So this fall we have um, new, uh, we have our five acre corn maze. Um, it's about a mile, maybe a mile and a half, depending on how many little paths you go down. It's a pick your own experience. From strawberries to blackberries, 
and of course those Fredericksburg peaches. We're here today just in time for the pumpkin season. But before the pumpkin picking, it's time to get through this maze. Let's go check it out. You think I'll get lost? Yeah. We'll find out. <laughs> so many turns, so many dead ends. This is a dead end, so maybe if you turn there. And these kids good? were having a blast. Today I brought my family with me. Right, Mom? Yeah. I think we're going the right way. Yeah, lost my right, kids. right, brother? Yes. I feel like we're getting closer to the end. Dead end. This is a dead end. Two dead ends. So we've been in here for how long now? Like 20 minutes? I think we're finding our way. Okay, this hasn't been very easy, but we've made the halfway point. So let's keep going. Come on, we can't give up now, right? Come on. There's a way to go that way, and there's a way to go that way. Which way do we go? We have finished the corn maze. Now time to have some fun. Let's go find some pumpkins. And then we have our giant corn box, which has approximately 20,000 pounds of corn in it. So that's always fun. The kids and adults love that. Definitely a great time here at Yensky Orchards, and we haven't even got our pumpkins yet. This family owned and operated business has been going strong since 1961 when they started as a roadside stand. They expanded into a country store in 2018, and since then, they've seen an increase in what they call agritourism. This thing's really heavy. <laughs> we have pumpkin butter that we sell, which is really tasty. Now it feels like fall. Um, and then we have um, our peach cider, which a lot of people drink that um, in tea or just cold, but it is absolutely delicious if you warm it up with a little cinnamon stick or something. It, it, we love it that way. So that actually transitions into the fall very nicely. Peach jalapeno preserves. Mm. Also have pecans and honey. That's kind of a fall type theme. Um, but then we just have some really great jams and syrups and people are getting into to the baking spirit, pies, cobbler, pecan, pumpkin, peach cobbler. And then we have our pumpkin patch, um, which you actually go out, cut them off the vines, um, and that's always fun. And you can come out to the pumpkin patch where you have all of this to choose from. And you can get something small or you can get something real big like this. That's huge. <laughs> On weekends we have barbecue so you can really come out and make you know a whole at least half a day of it um, and then experience some other fun stuff here in Fredericksburg. For SA Live, I'm Jen Tobias Jeske. What if they ever made it out of the corn maze? Oh and that peach cider? That looked good. Oh yes. <sighs> That'd That'll be really take you okay. right to that festive holiday season mood. Yeah, you know? you know, and speaking of, of holiday season, when they get into November and December, turns into a nice tree farm, so definitely keep that in your list for Christmas. Great place to go uh, go pick out a Christmas tree. And for more information on Yensky Orchards, all you have to do is head to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Hey, still ahead on SA Live, we have lost that summer feeling, so we show you the best ways to welcome in the fall season and how you can show Fido how much you love him or her for National Dog Week. That's next on SA Live. Many of us have been spending lots of time with our furry friends lately. And if you're looking for new ways to have fun or you need new ideas for making your pup feel extra special, then our friend, lifestyle expert Jen Munoz is here to help and she has some special guests with her. With her. Hey there. Hello. Yeah, I'm hanging with my friends this morning. Um, the first thing is, you know, we've all been cooped up, right, for a while. So there is a website called Sniff Spot that you can log into and you can find an area near you whether it's someone's yard or like jumping jack dog ranch where you can rent a private space that 
dogs can run around and have fun and play. And a lot of them are like anywhere from five to $10 for a whole hour. Or you can make your own doggy day camp at home so kids can get involved and practice their patience and their problem solving as they teach your dog how to high five, ring a bell and play with those cups and find the treat under the cup, which is real fun for their mental stimulation too. Now everyone loves a good selfie for their social media and you've got some ideas to get your pups involved. Yeah, so there, you know, one thing you can do is book a photography session with a local photographer and we love Puppy Breath Photography. She captures those pets' personality like nobody's business. You can also do one of those Renaissance masterpieces from Crown and Paw where they basically turn your dog into, um, you know, like a Victorian masterpiece or an old colonel or whatever. And just like kids, dogs love a new toy and you know where to find some good ones. Yeah, so we love BarkBox. We have a monthly subscription, but if you need a little extra love during the month, you can also get onto Amazon and you can buy singles of things. There's a really cute fall acorn out right now. And when the dog tears it up, there's another toy inside or Hot Diggity Dog is one of my favorite companies of all time. They have those sort of play on words. So you've got your, you know, your Ugg boot, but it's a pug boot um, or the Lick Croy, or you also have your pumpkin spice latte, which is, you know, the tis the season, right? And you found some fun technology for us pet parents. What? Yeah, so the first one is the Furbo camera and it's been around a little while, but now they've integrated with Alexa. So if your dog is barking, it will send you a bark alert and you can turn on, have Alexa turn on your television, turn on calming music for your pet. There, you can schedule like treat tossing sessions so that at specific times during the day, Alexa will have Furbo toss a treat. And then the other one, which I think is our new personal favorite is the pet chat. Um, greet and treat video phone. So not only can you call your dog and do like essentially a FaceTime video call, but your dog can call you with the little paw call button, which is pretty amazing to see your pet is calling. All right, what about the special guest you have with you sitting there? Yeah, so you know, one of the things we love doing is volunteering, right? And so we have, you know, made sure that our Amazon Smile account is linked to like San Antonio Humane Society. We've also gone on and looked at their wish lists or... Uh, one of the special things we have going on right now is uh, you can visit our uh, website at thepackshack.dog and get a message from the special guest right here, Waffles. For just $5, you can get a message from me and we'll donate to the San Antonio Humane Society. That was really good. Jen, please introduce the young man sitting next to you. So this is Cole, um, one of my twins. The other one is around here somewhere. Um, and this is Waffles. <laughs> gotcha, gotcha. Oh, well, thank you so much. Lifestyle expert Jen Munoz, Cole and Waffles. Take care and stay safe, you guys. Thank you. Too. Thank you. Hey, still ahead, it's the change of seasons. The air is crisp and the leaves are changing colors. Well, maybe not entirely, so that's why we put together a list to get you in the mood for fall. And next on SA Live, celebrate 10 years of inclusiveness and fun with Morgan's Wonderland as it prepares for the big fundraising gala. Inclusion Tuesday. Well, a big event is coming to KSAT 12 this week. It's the Morgan's Wonderland Cheers to 10 Years Virtual Gala hosted by Adam Kasky with a lot of love and star power behind it. The park is closed for now, but that doesn't mean you can't lend a hand. Joining us now to tell us how is none other than Morgan's dad, Gordon Hartman. Hey there, great to have you with us. Good to see you. All right, how excited are you for this virtual gala? Oh, incredibly excited. I mean, the number of people who have come together to make this happen uh, and, and just to, to bring all the, the stars that are gonna be a part of it, all the people who have come together to be able to explain all the different activities that we're involved in uh, here in San Antonio and, and to help not only those people in San Antonio, but Texas around the country and around the world. And when it comes to assisting our friends with special needs, uh, about being able to express ultra accessibility and uh, inclusiveness. Uh, this is gonna be a wonderful, wonderful opportunity to, not only for people to learn, but also 
to be able to participate. Now it is this Friday at 7 p.m. What can people expect to see? You'll be able to get a little bit of a background as to how we started and how far we've come in 10 years. The addition of Morgan's Inspiration Island, the addition of Morgan's One Land Sports, uh, more information about Morgan's One Land Camp, more information about the Multi Assistance Center and some other endeavors that we're involved in. And it will also be bringing together a lot of people to talk about the importance of what we do and how everybody can get involved. It's a very, it's, from what I have been told, it's going to be an incredibly upbeat, very positive opportunity for people to really see what Mortgage World Land and all of our other endeavors are, are up to and how people can possibly get involved. How is Favor getting involved? Well, Favors, as you know, is owned by HEB, and HEB is an incredible organization. I always think HEB stands for Help Everybody. But, you know, the thing that you can do is during the event, all the way from the event, all the way until Sunday, you can go in and if you put in under the promo code MWCHEERS, you can get free service for Favor on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Uh, so that's where Favor's working with us to give people an opportunity just to, to join in with what we're doing and, and celebrate our 10 years. Now, how can people help during uh, the virtual gala? Well, the beauty of this is not only are we going to spend this time to really just have a real upbeat uh, hour of time, which, by the way, KSAT has been so gracious in giving us and being our true partner in this whole opportunity, but people will be able to text at that time. And then from that text, they will receive an email that will give them an opportunity if they wish to participate financially. Uh, as you know, since we could not be open this year, there is no income coming in, but there's a lot of expenses still going out. And so we're asking people, of course, not to just join us for what we're doing right now, but to also learn about what we're going to be doing in the future, not only here, but also broadening our, our scope and ways in which they can get involved in, in respect to being able to text us during the gala and, and get involved in, in participating with us. Morgan's dad, Gordon Hartman, thank you so much for your time. Remember, don't miss Morgan's Wonderland. Cheers to 10 years virtual gala at 7 p.m. this Friday, right here on KSAT 12. Adam Kasky is going to MC, and the cast from The Good Doctor will be making an appearance along with a lot of our other friends. You can follow Morgan's Wonderland on its social media pages, learn more on its YouTube channel, or visit the website morganswonderland.com, and you can also give them a call at 210-495-495. 5888. Gordon, once again, thank you and stay safe. Thank you. Thank you so much. Still ahead, get it back. Man, you can feel like a younger, healthier you again with a little help from Mayo Medical Group. And next, are you excited for fall? We share a to do list of fall activities to get you in that good autumn spirit. Welcome back. Well, fall is officially here, even if Mother Nature isn't quite ready for it yet. So we have put together a list of activities and places that will really help get you into that fall feeling. And of course, we would be remiss if we didn't mention everyone's favorite fall drink, the pumpkin spice latte. Now, there are a few local coffee shops around town where you can get that great fall taste, like Summer Moon's Autumn Moon Drink. It tastes similar to a regular pumpkin spice latte, but it has that summer moon flair with that added moon milk. Next, Shotgun House Coffee Roasters, another local coffee shop with a new outdoor space to enjoy your coffee. And it's going to release the new seasonal fall drink menu on October 1st. Now, in previous years, the fall menus have included maple sage latte, yum, campfire latte, and get this, maple bourbon caramel sauce. <laughs> it tastes good on shoe leather. Uh, that caramel sauce sounds so good any time of the year. Hey, and it won't feel like fall unless you have the proper food to eat. Everyone has their favorite dishes like chili, but here are a few local places where you can get a great pastry. The bread box. Oh, some of the yummiest baked goods you've ever put in your mouth has rolled out. It's pumpkin bread for fall. And speaking of bread box, we're going to be getting an in-depth look at their menu. Jen's going to be out there tomorrow tasting all of their fall pastries. She better bring some back for us. Hey, Chocolazzo has got the fall classic treat, a caramel dipped or candied apple. Nothing better. And Bird Bakery has pulled out its soft and delicious pumpkin cookies fresh out of the oven just in time for fall. 
And we can't forget the best fall outdoor activity in Texas, camping. There are so many great parks around San Antonio you can enjoy, but some of the fall staples to camp at are Enchanted Rock and Lost Maples. Another great way to get that fall feeling is to get lost in the Texas-shaped corn maze over at Sweet Berry Farm. The corn maze, like the state of Texas, is big. So best of luck finding your way out. And of course, a popular one for folks here in San Antonio is the South Texas Maze and Hondo out west of town. It's at a, it's at Graf 7A Ranch. They have campfires, hay rides, a giant corn maze, funnel cakes, and fair food, and so much more. And last, but certainly not least, it isn't fall without pumpkins. Another great spot to go pick your own pumpkin is Owl Creek Farm. It's the latest, uh, the latest update says that it will be open on the 26th. Oh, you got, you're all set up. Oh boy, okay. <laughs> hey, yeah, because once you get the pumpkins here, you gotta have maybe a pumpkin ring toss and I need to redeem myself after we did those, uh, you know, the fall fair games yesterday. So here I go, I've got the first one. These are really difficult. Okay, there's one, two, and okay, you gotta get a close up of this one. All right, take this shot full right here. That thing's about a mile away. Hope I can get this on the first one. I hope so. <laughs> yeah, first time around. Yes, I got it. I got it. I got it. Ah, I hope you saw that one, Fiona. Well, I tell you, I'm gonna get my pumpkin set up here. Hi. Okay, hold on. There we go. What? What, what are you doing over there? Right. Can you see my pumpkin? <laughs> uh, wait, what's that? <laughs> it's, it's my pumpkin. What? I want to make sure I'm going to win again. So I'm just going to step off here and toss my ring onto my pumpkin. You didn't say they had to be the same size. I mean, oh, here we go. What are you going to use? A hula hoop on that thing? Oh, oh, oh there's two. And I'm so far <laughs> back, you guys. Oh. Oh, Out of three. Seriously? I'm gonna try this one again. Just I, maybe I should quit while I'm ahead. One more time. Nope. Oh, wait, wait. Here we go. I'm gonna. I, I, a little long and. Darn it. There we go. Okay. Anyway, I did get the first okay. one though, so I've redeemed myself, I think. And you cheated. <laughs> All right. Hey, still ahead on SA Live, a great way to get more greens into your diet. We make a grilled veggie pesto pasta. That sounds so good. And next, age is just a number. Get back to feeling like the old you again, or we should say the young you. Help thousands of men get it back. And now Mayo Medical Group wants to help you and they want to help you save money while they're at it. Joining us now is Manuel Chapo, one of their patient treatment counselors. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. How are you? I'm doing very well. Thank you very much. All right. Mayo Medical Group is a leader in testosterone replacement therapy in San Antonio. What are some of the symptoms of low T and then how can you all help? Well, some symptoms of low testosterone, first off, is that lack of drive, that lack of focus, lack of motivation, you know, some, some loss of, li of libido. You just don't have that extra pep in your step. You gain, you've you been gaining some, some, you know, extra body fat just because of with COVID, everybody's been indoors. We haven't been able to go out and be as active as we used to be or as we even want to be. Um, we just... You know, we can't put on that that lean muscle mass like we used to either. Just there's just different different factors in it that that take place. And what we want to do here is we definitely want to help you out. We want to answer any questions that you have, any concerns, and we just want to get get you back on get you back on track. Okay, so testosterone replacement, like you said, can put that spring back in your step. But what are the results that you've seen from treatments? Well, we've seen some some incredible results. That's definitely for sure. Um, not just from the physical side, but also like emotional, mental. Guys have been coming in here for for quite some time now. Very excited with the results. They have been losing that body fat. They've just been getting that extra pep in their step. They've been hitting the gym, and they're able to put on that lean muscle mass. You know, like like they used to when whenever everybody was was younger, and when just things kind of seemed more and more normal, if anything. And you know, just like I mentioned with the emotional or the mental aspect of it. Their clarity is, is there, they have more focus, their drive is back, they're 
family life is a lot better. They're able to put more into their work and actually get a lot out of it like, like they used to before. So, you know, like I mentioned before, we're, we're here to answer all those questions. We're here to get that ball rolling. We're here to get you get you back on track. Okay, so for the guys watching right now, or maybe the women in their lives that want to help out, what do you tell them? What, what's the, the sales pitch to get them to call right now? What I would say, you know, <clears throat> to them first and foremost is just don't don't be embarrassed. Don't hesitate. We've had guys mention that they've thought about it for quite some time, whether it's been a couple months or even a couple years. They were just, you know, they, they wanted their questions answered, but they just didn't want to come in here because they either felt embarrassed or, you know, even with the wives, they've ha we've had wives call in for their husbands just to get them here, get them in the door, just to have their questions answered. So definitely, if you have any questions that you want answered, we are here to help. We want to help you out and we want to get you get you back on track and we just want what's you know what's what's best for you and what's what's best for your overall health and your your family all your circumstances you know everything from that point okay and the first 10 people to call or text are going to get a consultation with a medical provider and lab work to test their levels for just 39 dollars now all of that usually costs about 300 dollars, so you're saving hundreds they're also going to throw in a 100 dollars gift card to use toward their services now the number to call is 210-361-1203 and for more information visit mailmedicalgroup.com manuel thank you very much sir thank you i appreciate it more greens into your diet? Well, Elizabeth Michaels, assistant brand manager of Ancient Harvest, joins us with a delicious recipe for grilled veggie pesto pasta. But Elizabeth, we're gonna give folks some options, right? Where it doesn't necessarily have to be grilled. Exactly, so if you don't have a grill, no problem. You can just do it, we can saute it in a pan that's as easy. Okay, for folks who don't know, tell us a little bit about Ancient Harvest. So Ancient Harvest is the first company that brought quinoa to the U.S. market back in 1983. So it's been over 30 years and uh, we're, uh, since then we've uh, uh, grown our portfolio to include pasta, uh, microwave quinoa, hot cereal, and polenta. Okay, so walk us through the ingredients real quickly. Tell us all the ingredients you're going to use. All right, so first you have to cut all the vegetables. So we have some red bell pepper here, yellow and orange. And we're gonna put this in a bowl. And then we also have some zucchini that are chopped here that we're gonna add. And we also have some red onions that are chopped and also some grape uh, tomatoes here. So once you have all the cut vegetables, in the bowl, we're gonna add the marinade and mix it. So here I have some olive oil and some um, Dijon mustard. So we're just gonna add that here. And then I'm gonna put some of the garlic, salt and pepper, just have this. And then I'm gonna mix it with the vegetables. All right, so once the vegetables are all mixed um, with the, the marinade, now it's time to uh, put them on the grill. And like I said, if you don't have a grill, you just put it in a pan. You cook it for depending, you know, how you like your vegetable. Like, will it crunchy or not? Like between 15, 20 minutes, half an hour. And um, so once this is grilled, um, while, while this is grill, uh, grilling, you're gonna cook the pasta. So this is the veggie rotini we're using for this recipe. And so you cook according to the packaging. So just boil water, add the pasta, cook for about eight minutes and start checking. Um, and once they're done, you drain and rinse with hot water, which is a really important step when you're using gluten-free flour, uh, gluten-free pasta. And so once this is um, done, uh, the pastas that are cooked looks like this. Uh, we're gonna mix everything together. So we're gonna mix the grilled vegetable, the pasta, and the pesto. And here I'm using pre-med pesto, so it makes the recipe even easier. So once this is all mixed up, it's gonna look like this. I made it ahead of time to make it easier. So. Oh, that looks fantastic. Now you mentioned earlier when cooking gluten-free pasta, what was that about the hot water? What happens if you don't do that? So it just helps the pasta uh, d doesn't get clump or stick together. So it really helps, um, you know, and then it just stayed separate and it's really nice. Where can folks go for more information on Ancient Harvest and find these recipes? 
So on our website, ancientnervous.com, and to find some recipes. And um, one thing I forgot to mention is that this pasta, they're made with green lentils, tapioca flour, cauliflower, kale, and spinach. So they're very healthy. And um, so to find them, you can go to Sprouts or Amazon.com. All right, Elizabeth Michaels, Assistant Brand Manager of Ancient Harvest. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Tomorrow on SA Live, fall goes by fast, so don't wait to enjoy all the flavors. We're taking it live to a bakery that has everything fall fanatics are looking for. Plus, National Dog Week continues. How about spoiling your pup with a spa day? See the five-star service available for your best friend, and they come to you. That's all tomorrow at 1 p.m. on SA Live. Of course, earlier we asked your favorite thing about fall. Most folks said the temperatures. Second was coffee, because you gotta have cool temperatures to drink coffee, and then you gotta have a little baby like that to take out. Who do you have on your lap there, Fiona? Did we lose it's the Sloan? Can you say that's Mike? Can you say Say Mike. Can you say hi Mike? Say hi. Say hi. Say hi. Say hi. Who's that? Fiona, puff say your hi, cheeks Mike. out a little bit and you'll look just like her. <laughs> <I> know, right. <laughs>